Hey guys, I'm not at Penn State anymore. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a little bit and I have a new background. So anyways, welcome back to my channel. Peyton Becker here, have a bit on in a hot minute. The last video I released was in June, I think, or May when I did the world's longest zip line over in um, the UAE, United Arab Emirates. Yes, my family lives over there now, so whatever. Anyways, I'm getting back into the groove. I'm going to start doing weekly videos. I have a shit ton of content that's gonna come out and I'm like so excited. But today is crazy, crazy. Z. This is the first video I wanted to do coming back because it's kind of like, hey guys, I'm not at Penn State anymore. So, this is explaining why. If you want to learn more about why I'm not going to Penn State anymore and why I decided to come home and live at my house, continue watching. If you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and I'm posting weekly now, so hit the little bell and get notifications because you're not going to want to miss my rad content anymore. Anyways, moving on. Yes, by the title of this video and by my thumbnail that I took with this beautiful little shirt that I can't long, no longer wear. Why it's okay not to go to Penn State. People are texting me. Um, and yeah, so basically I wanted to start off and just let the cat out of the bag. No, I didn't drop out of school. And for those of you who are saying I dropped out of school, I'm not. And if you are one of those people that said that, shame on you. Cause I don't have enough money to pay back my dumb college loans, so I cannot drop out of school. I need to stay full time in order not to pay my frickin' $35,000 dollars in debt. So anyways, I did not drop out of school. Yes, I'm still taking classes. I'm a full time student and I'm going to continue to be until I get a degree. So for you hoes that are saying that, shut your mouth and move on. And I don't even know why you're saying that and watching my shit at the same time. So if you are watching this, get your life together. Anyways, that's enough shade. I talked about throwing shade on my Instagram story. That was the shade I'm throwing. Don't say I'm dropping out of school and I'm not. Get your facts right, people. My decision to not go back to Penn State literally happened like two months ago. It's September 5th now. I probably decided the middle of July. It hit me. I was unhappy at my school. I had no friends. The friends that I thought were friends were fake. Fake. Um, I wasn't super excited about sophomore year. I joined a sorority and that was great and like I love all my sisters and whatever. I just didn't feel super close to any of them except one. Rachel, if you're watching this, I love you and miss you and I will be coming to visit. Um, but other than that, like there just wasn't a huge connection. There was a little bit of like cat cattiness and bitchiness and so that was just kind of like a turn off for me. So yeah, that's that. Um, and I just, nothing really was pulling me back to Penn State. I went there because it was my last option. I literally applied to 12 different schools and had no idea what I wanted to do with my life and then just decided what the hell, I'll just go there. And I kind of followed like my boyfriend there from high school and we broke up in January. And then after January, I was like, fuck, like I don't really have a lot of friends. I'm not really out there. like. I did everything with my boyfriend, my ex-boyfriend, I went to lunch and dinner, we did like date night all the time, we would sleep over at each other's houses, like it just was a lot and then when we broke up it was like fuck I don't have my own life and it kind of sucked. So I realized that and my grades like literally slipped off the fucking earth second semester of my freshman of college year and they just, I wasn't in the school anymore. I went to class, but as minimum as I could, I was dropping classes, I was failing tests. I just, my heart wasn't in it, and that's not like me. I've been like a straight A student for as long as I can remember, pretty much, with, you know, the one exceptional B here or there. So it just like, it was a downhill spiral, downhill spiral for me to continue paying the absurd amount of money that it is to continue doing that and I was just like you know what it's not meant for me and it doesn't have to be meant for me 
and the four year go to a big school get a degree like graduate marry have that that life like I'm learning that so many people like that's what society's teaching us and that's not me and I'm not gonna let that define me because therefore I said nope not going to Penn State um, yes I'm having major FOMO because all of my sorority sisters like go out and party and my friends and all of that and like I'm here living in a house with wallpaper and green ugly ass carpet that I'm covering up with the white one and I'll do a room tour in a little bit but it was just like to the point where I was so like fed up with I don't know everything I was just mad at myself that I let myself get this far and I wasn't like I wasn't really telling anybody I just like I don't know it sucked so I decided in July that I wasn't going to do that this semester and that I wasn't going to get stuck in debt and that I wasn't going to live uh, up at State College because it just wasn't good for my mental health and so I came home um, and I now live at home and I commute to a community college for Yorkers 717. I go to Hack. Um, no, I'm not like overjoyed with telling people that I came and went to Penn State, Maine which is fucking hard to get into. And then I came home and now I'm going to community college. But when you look at the price tag, I pay like $3,000 a semester. A semester. Like Penn State, I'm $35,000 in debt and I went for one freaking year. I went for one year and I'm $35,000 in debt. Like government, how is that allowed? That just baffles me. And for those of you who don't know, I pay myself through college. I pay for all my bills. I pay, I work through college. Like it is on me to get my finances in order and up at Penn State, they were not. I was drowning and like I had enough money to survive, but it was like, this fucking sucks because I come this summer, I have no money and I need a job and I need to be able to pay. I was gonna be living in an apartment this year if I went back to state college with a couple other girls and I was gonna have to pay like 700 bucks a month and I just didn't have that and that was stressing me the frick out. I didn't have a stable job over the summer. I was like self-sabotaging myself not to be able to afford it um, and that I need to start adulting and this is my way of adulting and it's coming here, living at home, redefining my space, getting more on YouTube. Um, working on my fitness and mental health and making some freaking money because I need money. Everybody likes money. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I was talking to like a couple boys over the summer from Penn State and I like didn't tell them that I wasn't coming back. So if you're watching this, sorry, but I'm not there. I'm here like three hours away from you. So that was funny because I was like, I don't know, it sucks telling somebody that like you're not going back to Penn State. I don't know. And then you go to these family parties and they're like, oh my god, how much, how's Penn State? Like, are you excited to go back? I'm like, well, bitches, I'm not. That sucked. And I'm still, like, getting over it, and I have no idea what I want to do next semester. Um, I know that I can't continue at Hack because I'm finished with all of my gen eds by then, so I'll probably do another state school that's half the price of Penn State. As much as I would love to go back to Penn State, if anybody's offering me free college, I'll take it, but that doesn't happen, so I have to pay for it. Um, and I'm thinking about like Westchester, pretty obvious choice for me to go to because it's the cheapest and I just went and liked it. If you didn't see my Instagram, go follow my Instagram. I just posted me going to Westchester in this cute little outfit. I was wearing a graphic tee like this one. This is from Kohl's. Seven dollars. Seven dollars for this. This is an extra large. Um, that's cute. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I am just here to tell you that if you're thinking like, holy shit, I have to go to some big ass university to make a name for myself and be able to, like the only reason I like Penn State, not the only reason, a big reason why I liked it is because I could be like, yeah, I go to Penn State, Maine, I'm up there with 55,000 other people, I got in my first year, like, that's cool, but at the same time, it's not. Nobody cares. Like. Nobody cares where you get your undergrad from. And a lot of people are like, well, no, Penn State has the biggest alumni association in the world. Okay, cool. But like, I'm just, I'm gonna be just as good as one of their graduates going to get the job. And it's all based on personality. And for me, I had to get over that and whatever. So if you're thinking like, fuck, I need to go to some big school, you don't. College isn't for everybody. It is for me, like I, like going to school so I'm doing the college but I'm not doing it the $35,000 every year in debt 
I'm going to a community college where I'm taking four classes, I'm fully enrolled, I'm taking my gen eds, I'm finishing that, and I'm doing it for literally a fraction of the cost, and I can pay out of pocket and not take out any more student loans. Um, just like a breath of fresh air. Like, I'm so less stressed about it than I would be if I was there at Penn State right now, just like dying in debt. So you don't have to go and get your big university college degree if you don't want to. You can do hack for two years, you could do Millersville for four years, like it doesn't have to be what everybody tells you to and it's okay. Like I'm slowly learning that if you can't afford some big school, it doesn't matter. And I tell that to myself every single day when I wake up, it just doesn't matter. Basically, moral of the story, I left Penn State because it was too expensive for me. Um, after I stripped away, like, the going out scene and the Greek life, um, I really didn't have any super close friends. Um, my boyfriend and I broke up and I don't know, it just wasn't for me anymore and I miss it, but I miss the like, the going out life and being able to say like, yeah, I party, you know, six days a week. Um, I can go out and drink all night if I want to and not go to class and it doesn't matter. Like, I just, I don't know, I kind of, like, I didn't grow up because I still want to do that, but it just, I don't know, Penn State is such like a cult where like it like pulls you in and you want to go out and you want to be a part of something bigger but when you don't have the people to share that with and like I don't know I was going I was like chasing these like, I was chasing boys like I was like trying to find something that wasn't there so it just wasn't for me um and that doesn't mean like I'm not gonna go and visit that doesn't mean like I'm not gonna go to Westchester or wherever I decide and party and shit like that because I love doing that um it just I think like it's overrated and if you're going to Penn State or and you're picking between Penn State and a different college and the other one is less expensive um and you're paying for yourself it seems like the awesomest option to go to your big dream like campus or whatever it's not, it's overrated. I liked it up there, but I just didn't have the people to share that with that I wanted to. And I was heartbroken when I left my freshman year and I was like, that's what college is like. Like, I don't have any super close friends. Like I didn't see any friends from college this summer. I left Penn State because it wasn't for me and it doesn't have to be for you. And if you're contemplating anything or if you have any questions about how I made my decision or anything, reach out to me, DM me on Instagram, comment down below, like, I, it doesn't matter, like, this, it's such a business, and it's such this thing that society tells you you have to do, is go to a big school, join, you know, Greek life, or join this big club, make sisters for life, and then graduate, get a job, marry, and have kids, like, doesn't have to be like that, I'm here to tell you, she's right, you don't have to do that, that's not what life is about, um, and yeah, so that's why I stopped going to Penn State, if you have any questions, concerns, or if you just want to be up in my business, because I know some of you do, just, uh, I don't know, hit me up. Um, and yeah, so that's it. Make sure to like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. So go check those out. Thanks so much for watching. I really hope this, like, inspired you or just let you know what's happening in my life. Um, and I have so many more cool videos to do that I think you guys are going to love. So make sure you subscribe. That's all I got for you today. Peace out. Make sure you get up and get after it. Whatever that is, your dreams, your workout, your eating, just know, get up, get after it, and I'll talk to you next time.